The recent CBS extended interview featuring Meghan Markle has unveiled more than just her struggles. It sparked a firestorm of controversy, particularly surrounding Jane Pauley's incisive questioning and unmistakable scepticism. With a poised demeanour and sharp insight, Pauley didn't hold back, challenging Meghan's narrative and raising questions that resonate far beyond the palace walls. From the onset, it was clear that Meghan wasn't merely sharing a story, she was crafting a narrative designed to elicit sympathy and reinforce a victimhood. However, Pauley's calm yet pointed inquiries pierced through the facade. Meghan spoke about her mental health struggles during a time in the palace, even revealing that she'd contemplated suicide while pregnant with the first child, Archie. But rather than offer an unreserved endorsement of Meghan's plight, Pauley's expressions hinted at scepticism. You were reluctant to tell your husband Harry about your feelings, Pauley pointed out. The question hung in the air, heavy with implications. Why indeed would Meghan withhold such profound distress from her spouse? The unspoken insinuation lingered. Was this reluctance an authentic struggle or merely a ploy to deepen a narrative? As the interview unfolded, Pauley's approach revealed a subtle yet powerful tension. The audience could sense the underlying conflict between the urgency of Meghan's revelations and Pauley's unwavering journalistic instincts. It was as if Pauley, in a gentle yet firm way, was daring Meghan to step out from behind a polished veneer and confront the raw, unfiltered truth. While Meghan painted a picture of anguish and alienation within the royal family, Pauley's follow-up questions indicated a deeper understanding of the complexities involved. You had everything, Pauley noted, almost incredulously. You were a beloved member of the royal family. How could you possibly feel isolated? The rhetorical question served as a stark reminder that wealth and status do not equate to happiness or fulfilment. Moreover, the timing of this extended interview raised eyebrows. Meghan's narrative seemed crafted to coincide with a surge of negative press, a deliberate move to reclaim the public's sympathy and attention. Pauley's pointed observations revealed a glaring inconsistency. If Meghan's struggles were so profound, why wait until now to divulge them? It felt as though the interview was less about personal healing and more about strategic public relations, an attempt to pivot the narrative amidst a storm of criticism. And then came the leaked footage, clips that were purportedly not meant for broadcast. Pauley's response to this revelation was particularly telling. Isn't it interesting, she posited, how these supposed secrets emerge just when they're most convenient? The implication was clear. This wasn't the spontaneous sharing of an intimate struggle, but a carefully orchestrated performance designed to capture media attention. In the heart of this dramatic exchange, the viewer could see Pauley's refusal to simply accept Meghan's account at face value. While others may have fallen for the polished presentation and emotionally charged revelations, Pauley's journalistic integrity shone through. She demanded clarity, asking the tough questions that needed to be asked. Meghan Markle was visibly furious during the CBS interview when Jane Pauley confronted her about the inconsistencies in her narrative. While Pauley pressed her on the release of previously unseen footage, Meghan's frustration grew, especially as it became clear that the footage wasn't a secret at all. CBS had the right to air it, and Meghan had allegedly given a blessing for its release. This raised questions about why she now seemed so uncomfortable with it. Meanwhile, Prince Harry appeared disinterested and detached during the interview, seemingly unconcerned about the seriousness of Meghan's revelations. As Meghan grappled with the fallout and attempted to navigate a public image, the contrast between her emotional turmoil and Harry's lack of engagement highlighted a troubling dynamic, leaving viewers to wonder if her pleas for understanding were more about creating a narrative than addressing genuine struggles. In the end, Jane Pauley didn't just interview Meghan Markle, she challenged her. The facades cracked, and as the story unfolds, the question remains, what's the real story behind Meghan's carefully crafted image? <laughs>